This video provides instructions for adding a digital output for phase loss for ion meters using ion setup and the relative set point modules. So we start off by opening ion setup. There will be a radio button in the lower right hand corner that says a single ion device configuration mode. You want to be sure that's set and the default password unless it's otherwise been changed is zero. Click OK. We're going to connect with Ethernet, so the Ethernet IP address should be put in here for the meter, and you put that in and click OK. It should go ahead and open Ion Setup. Now, in order for this process to work appropriately, we're first going to have to make sure that the nominal voltage has been set. And the nominal voltage depends upon the system voltage type that's being applied uh, on the meter. So if it's a if it's a 4 y and y system, you're going to want to have your nominal voltage set to be the line to neutral voltage. And if it's a four, if it's a three y delta, for instance, then there's no neutral, and so the meter would be looking for a line to line voltage for its nominal voltage. You would simply double click on nominal voltage into the meter unit password, which is zero, unless it's otherwise been changed, and change the voltage and click OK. Then we exit from here, and when we do, it asks if you want to connect to a different device. You say no. You are still connected to this device, but now we need to get into advanced setup. And we do that by holding down control and left clicking on, ether on the device over on the left hand side. And it opens the modules that are within the meter. And so they're all listed in alphabetical order. And we want to go down to relative set point modules and click on that folder, opening the modules that are available within the relative set point modules folder. We want to start by clicking V1 set point. Now, and then we click Setup Registers tab, and we want to make sure that we go down to Enable and ensure that it is enabled, and that the evaluation mode is percentage. You can select a value, and that would be a number of volts, uh, so that you could in, in eventually change it so that you say, but no, but a certain number of volts below this, we want to go ahead and engage this, this alarm. But rather, if you say a percentage, then you can say a certain percentage below we want to go ahead and engage the same alarm, so there's some flexibility there. We're going to go ahead and say percentage. Now, the over pickup, over dropout, under pickup, and under dropout are based on the idea that if you were to set this as they are to, to 5, for instance, for over pickup here, then that would actually be um, at 105%. But the under dropout works a little differently. If you set this to 5, then it would be 95%, so it's a percentage variation of the nominal voltage from the nominal voltage. So if you set it at 75, it wouldn't actually pick up until it hit 25% of the nominal voltage. We want to go ahead and set this to something different, like 25, but you can set it to whatever you like. If you set it at 10, it will pick up at 90% of the nominal voltage. If you set it at 20, it will pick up at 80. I'm going to go ahead and set these to 25, so that it will pick up at 75% and drop back out at 70%, 75%. Now, sustain until on is in the number of, in the number of seconds. If you wanted to, you could set this to zero. So as soon as it drops below this, whatever it is, it will automatically pick up and, and send that digital out. The sustain until off uh, means that when it comes back up above into a normal range that it's supposed to pick back up, that it waits that certain number of seconds for that condition to be met for that entire time before it takes the, the digital output back off again. So you could as well set this to zero if you want, and it's virtually instantaneous, but if you set it to five, it would wait for five seconds. <clears throat> Once all of that is set, then we send. But we have to repeat the same process for V2 set point and V3 set point. So double click V2 set point, go to setup registers, evaluation mode, set to percentage, enable, under pickup. And it's under pickup because we're doing a phase loss, right? So we want to make sure that when the voltage falls below a particular phase, that's when we're doing this. <clears throat> 25, under dropout. 25, 300 seconds, that would be 5 minutes, it's an awfully long time, I'm going to go ahead and set these to zero, and send, and then we have to do the same thing for V3 set point, set up, evaluation mode, percentage, under pickup, 
25, and a dropout, 25, sustain until on, 0, sustain until off, also 0, and enable. So now we've set up all of our all of our set points to make sure that they send out the appropriate information when the voltage has fallen below a certain level. But now we need to say that we want to bring all of these signals together to manipulate them further. So we go back up and click on Andor modules, and we want to create a new module just for this uh, alarm itself. So we go over into the right hand pane and right click and insert module. Now when we do that, so it just says and or three, it could say a different number, it just depends upon the number of modules that have already been created in there, but it does give them a number, and we know that that's number three. However, we want to go ahead and change this so that we can recognize it in the future. So we right click and rename, and we want to call it something along the lines of phase loss so that we can identify it more clearly in the future and send. Now we see phase loss down here, and we want to open it. And we want to connect these sources, and the sources are all going to be V1 set point, V2 set point, and V3 set point that we already did. So we're going to link them together so that this and or module can say, well, if I have this signal or this signal or this signal, then I want to send out this uh, uh, contact closure for phase loss. So you double click on source one, and we want to go down to relative set point modules. and click the little plus button next to relative set point modules and V1 set point and we want the under alarm source 2 same thing down to relative set point modules plus button V2 set point under alarm and for source 3 down to relative set point modules click the plus V3 set point V3 under OK <clears throat> and the setup register now. We don't want this to be AND, because then it would only alarm when all three are saying that there's an under voltage condition instead. We definitely want this to say OR, OK? And send. And now the AND OR module has also been set. Now we go in the left hand pane and select digital OUT modules, because now we need to hook that and or module to a digital out. In this case, today, we're just going to use port D1. So you double click on port D1, and its source is going to be the and or module we just created. And so that would be phase loss. And there it is. We click the plus on phase loss, and result, OK. Now we click on setup registers. And we go down to D01 port, it currently says not used. We want to double click that and make sure that it is associated with port D1 so that the contact closure engages when there is a phase loss and send. The digital phase loss is now complete.